Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are tuned in once again with Cindy, and today I have a special guest for you guys. His name is Omar Craddock, and he is a USA triple jumper, and today I kind of want him to talk to you guys uh, with me just about what we're doing here on our trip. We are here in Texas for a retreat in Lady Lounge, and it is a very amazing experience. And we kind of just wanted to talk to you all today about how our personal journeys involve Christ and how they have allowed us to be the athletes we are today, not only just the athletes we are, but the individuals we are. So you want to tell me a little bit about it and yourself, a little bit about what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so as you said, I'm Omar Craddock, a uh, U.S. triple jumper. Um, we in the great state of Texas, and I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. um, this is just a time, at least for me, I chose to come here just because it's, it's a time... It's the off season, but to me, I believe the off season is still a season, mm -hmm. and this season is the time to get stronger, but to get stronger in uh, mentally and to get stronger uh, spiritually, mm -hmm. and that's that's really the purpose of this entire trip. Yeah. Could you tell them a little bit about your um, athletic past and kind of how God has shaped your career a little bit? Um, so I've been doing uh, track and field since I was about 13, 14, okay. 26 now, so mm -hmm. about 12, 13 years. Um, just my path in the sport, it, it really chose me. When I started in eighth grade, my coach said I looked like a triple jumper. He was like, just go jump twice on one leg, switch to the other, mm -hmm. land in the pit. Did it, beat everybody by seven feet. Um, nice. As I continued on, I got better and better each year. Um, and my first time, like anything that slowed me down was in high school, um, I got sick. I had a disease called rhabdomyolysis, mm -hmm. and my liver and my kidneys were filling. And I was in the hospital for several weeks, um, couldn't train or anything, and that was like the first time I really had to sit down. Yeah. The reason I got into that position was because of, like, during my youth, my adolescent years, I was doing a lot of drinking and a lot of, like, pill popping and stuff. Yeah. And um, that's what landed me into the in the hospital, um, doing that stuff and trying to work out hard. Mm -hmm. So... During that time is when I really like understood like wow God is really he's trying to he's trying to prune me and yeah. teach me something right now. Yeah. Um, but I didn't I still didn't hear the call. Right. You know? um, and as I went on from high school I got a full ride scholarship to UF. Uh, got to train with Will Clay and Christian Taylor on the same team, and then nice. from there we we all you know uh, jumped to the professional ranks, mm -hmm. and the success continued. Um, Really, again, uh, I was I was battling with uh, drinking and mm -hmm. still, you know, competing and doing other things uh, that I shouldn't have been doing. Mm -hmm. um, and around, let's see, actually, last year um, is when, like, I really I really made that change. I, I I've always asked myself, like, why why me? Mm -hmm. And the why me was uh, why am I the only one not being addicted yeah. to the stuff that I'm doing so mm -hmm. the pill popping and the drinking um and for some reason i always ask why me but then i would realize like I, I, god obviously has something like a hold on my life like in the sport i'm still succeeding in the sport yeah. though i'm doing what i'm doing i'm still chosen for some reason right. everybody i know that has done what i've done is either addicted to it or you know ended up in jail or yeah. passed on you know yeah, so yeah, yeah. I knew God had had some kind of purpose for me in the sport, some kind of mission, and here I am, 26, still doing it, and happy. And yeah. Hey. That's amazing. That's such a huge testimony to show how God can work in your life and how us as athletes, like, we all have pasts and we all have things going on, but it just shows, like, the Lord can change things around, and that's amazing yeah. that he has changed your career in that way. So, yeah, for sure. So one thing me and Omar both kind of have in similar right now is we have injuries and they have been hard. And you guys know through my channel, I've been talking about how God has been helping me through this whole process. So I obviously like to pray a lot and I like to call on God to help me through my journey. But other people do other things. I don't know what do you do, Omar, to help you get through this difficult time of kind of just getting healthy and back to what you love doing. I do the same thing. Yeah. I do a lot of praying. What just, it, I, I like to put my mind in a... In a, in a positive uh, realm. Mm -hmm. uh, reading the Bible, we know we or understand that uh, everything starts in the mind. Yeah. Everything starts in the mind. And that's where change begins. It begins in the mind. So true. And for, for me, every day I, I do my devotions early in the morning. I yeah. get up, I make sure that's the first thing I do before I check any kind of social media, text messages, phone calls, anything. Yeah, yeah. 
I had like as soon as like before I'm waking up, I, I talked to my mentor and he told me like he does the same thing. Yeah. He's like before I'm actually awake, before my eyes are open, mm -hmm. I'm thanking God already. Yep. You know, and so then <laughs> then I go into my devotionals and then like my day just starts off positive. Yeah. Um, so you get just they start off in a good route, like yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I I just feel if if I start off positive. There's a, a a higher return on my day being positive, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously if it's negative, then you're gonna bring in some negativity. Of so course. that's 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 what's really helping me uh, get over this hump of injury. 2016, yeah. I didn't make the Olympic team, mm -hmm. torn hamstring. Mm -hmm. This year, I didn't make this World Championship team, uh, bruised heel uh, heel bone. Yeah. Um, so. My first thing would obviously be is, is my devotions and praying and, yeah. and speaking to God and then doing everything that I have to do yeah. in order to get back uh, as safe uh, and as fast as possible. That's you know? awesome. Yeah, I think the Lord is a, you are a true testament to how to how you can overcome all this adversity. And I mean, for me too, I obviously spend a lot of time in prayer and it's just been so helpful with this recovery. And I mean, if we dedicate our time to God and allow him to kind of direct our paths, our situation will feel a lot better no matter what you're in and whatever you're going through spend time with the lord especially in the morning like you said that's one thing i do too is i dedicate time in the morning i don't allow the world to get to me so i like that you said that and i think mm -hmm. um the fact that you do it i do it. a lot of people do it and it's yeah. so helpful it can be yeah. a true um, testament to other people and it can show people that this truly can help you i guess for my last thing do you have any advice for people who are going through a hardship whether it's in their job or you know their life work whatever is happening in their life do you have any advice to people at two people as to what they can do and how they can get over this um yeah uh, i think it's something that everybody says mm -hmm. and it's just being patient like yeah. we really patience have to too. have to learn to endure patience yeah. uh there's uh, even for, for for those that believe uh in god and and they pray for patience mm -hmm. they have to realize when you pray for patience god's going to give you something to make you endure yeah. so you can learn so you know true. what patience is yeah, and yeah. that's even for you know non-believers or anybody uh, patience like we just spoke about today it's a virtue yeah. and it's when it's when it's time it's, it's gonna happen yeah. so take your time don't rush it um and 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 find the success or the successes in the smaller things yeah success doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to be monumental but if you can find a success in each uh, each workout, each each uh, each interview, yeah. each anything that you do, if you can find something positive in it, uh, I believe that you will finally find some rest in yourself and, so and be able to to move forward. Yeah, that's and, super helpful. I yeah. agree with that 100. percent Just patience is key. I feel like in everything in life, and we literally have to have it. And like you said, the Lord probably place it in your life, but just be aware of that and just use it as a stepping stone to getting into what you want to get. So thank you so much for this interview. Um, do you want to let me know yeah. any social media that you can be reached on? <laughs> Omar Goodness on everything. Okay. Uh, what's that? Instagram, Snapchat. I think Facebook is just Omar Craddock. But I do want to leave them with, you know, my, my tagline is uh, dream big and B.I.G. Believe in God. Amen. You got the room to improve. I love it. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.